Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Brandy Video WD Supercard. This is episode 48 of season 5. Um, not doing it in chronological order here. I recorded a just a clip, basically like 5-6 minutes of when the game came back up after maintenance um, on Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, game came back up, um, got a freebie, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, decent enough Supercard and Cad to do that. Um, this is the first time I'm recording since the update. I mean, yes, there was an update in the store, so you can call it an update, I suppose. Um, so I would, let me let me tell you what I think on it. You know, give you guys my um, my opinions. I am a fan of the King of the Ring uh, changes, apart from the championships being best out of seven. That's just too much it's not needed it's not necessary um i i like the qualifiers being best out of three um i think they could even make that for the quarters as well and then have like the semis the finals the championship maybe like best out of five but yeah i think it's a bit overkill to have best out of uh seven i'm gonna try and go through actually every th every like every change that they've done uh small or big but we'll go through everything um slight um, adjustments to some of the rewards get more draft picks in certain areas um, the packs give you more cards so if you would for example get second place before you'd be getting uh, one shattered one neon right or just maybe even just a shattered actually uh, now you're getting a shattered two neons plus 25 picks um, so yeah you're getting you're getting more again two neons instead of one 25 draft picks instead of 15 um, so, uh, slightly better odds, again, if here you would have gotten a 35 and a Shattered, now you're getting a 35, a Shattered, and a Neon, plus 25 draft picks, um, not a huge deal, it's not, it's, you know, no one will care if they win a 35 King of the Ring, no one will care what, what they get as a Neon, really, unless you care about Catalog, I suppose, but ultimately no one will really care. Um, the 25 picks, I think it's cool. It's more than it what it was, um, and it's always nice to get some picks. That is King of the Ring done. Um, now to go on to things I don't like and I'm I'm kind of annoyed about, and we'll do all the things that I'm I'm displeased with this update. This update, to be honest, has brought more bad things than good things. If I'm being totally honest, um, the difficulty being elevated in Money in the Bank. I'm really not a fan of this. If you just want to grind Money in the Bank and get through games quick it's really it's really sucky that they've done this to be honest because they, they they always do this they they've done it in the past and they've done it with like pvp game like pvp opponents and stuff their cards like they, they've gone from making them good to them bad easily beatable to like tricky and hard again and then and then back to easy again and it's it's just like make your mind up Stop changing it every two seconds. To, to be totally honest, I, I I don't think it's a good thing that they've made. They've increased the difficulty in Money in the Bank. Because um, it's hard enough to want to wanna play Money in the Bank. Let alone grind out 46,000 contracts for a pro. Um, and now, you know, now you're now you're genuinely going to be struggling with games. Um, unless you've got a full a full deck of, of one tier. And they're all, you know, really decent in the tier. Um, cause yeah, I've got, currently got all shattered in here. Um, and I definitely do struggle with, with, with the latter ones here, the, the my rock, my taker, Cena's Roman, you know, they're not even, even like Jeff and Brian and the money in the bank cards and like dream. It's just like, you know, the other cards pretty much guaranteed win from, from Gargano upwards, but the others it's just like, you know, and when before it was just easy wins. Um, what else have they done? They've capped tickets, um, but they also have made ticket packs a lot better, like insanely better, as you guys will have seen um, in the first part of the video, or hell, I could even add it the, later. I might even put it to the second part of this video, but yeah, just know that my reactions is are fresh from when the game came back up. But yeah, they're, they're really good now. Gothic to 35, I've seen a lot of people get good stuff from these packs. Um, are they slightly too good? Yes, maybe, maybe indeed. I never thought I'd be saying that, but are they maybe a bit, a bit too good and a bit, you know, I mean, you know, obviously it, it shows the battlegrounds better because you'll get, you know, you get from Shattered to Neon and from sorry from Shattered to Thirty Five and then you know got the um, Neon to Shattered, but like 
it's not far from being from being as good as a battleground pack to be totally honest it's really not far from being as good as a battleground pack hell my battleground pack's been awful so yeah um but overall capped tickets to 500 meh i i suppose it's it's not the worst thing in the world if you do want to save up 500s a decent amount of tickets to, to to stop and cap off um you know but you know is it necessary did they need to do it not really um, more more annoying than the ticket cap is the battle points cap that they've added. It, you, it was 200k and it's now 100k. So they've cut it in half and this this is infuriating because I'm sat here with 124,000 battle points and knowing fully well that when I get my rewards, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm not sure if it's going to be a message. I'm not going to be able to claim them. But I'm going to have to spend my battle points on a shattered single to get rid, literally, to get rid of battle points so I can earn more battle points. How stupid is that? A shattered single. It's, it's not even, it's not even like, yeah, I don't want to spend 22, to, this is, that's like, that's like, I don't know, eight battlegrounds or something. I don't want to waste it on a shattered single. I shouldn't have to. It's stupid. Um, and yes, I'm upset about that. I think I've covered most things. There's a when you're logging into the game, slight different change of the interface on there. They have made the gold vault better, which we'll get into. Um, they've they've made uh, the LP packs, the PVP packs in uh, in here slightly better. Um, I think it's now gothic to what is it? Neon to 35 and Neon to Shattered instead of SummerSlam 18. So again, definitely better. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I believe this has stayed the exact same. It has until we get double rewards. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I've covered most things. If I have forgotten something, please do let me know in the comments down below. And um, yeah, I think we can uh, go do our gold vault. So hopefully I get 35 in these because I've gotten unlucky so far. I haven't gotten a single one and we're at about five or six now. So please, yes, it's a female as well. That is so sick. I've been really wanting to get some more 35 singles. It's a double 35 pack. We start off with a bang, 35 Carmella. Let's go. We are now up to four singles, Tony Storm, Io Shirai, Sarah Logan, and Carmella. I will happily take that. I'm, yes, hell yeah. What a what a great gold vault. Um, I will farm the hell out of these. I've uh, got 14 days, so another two weeks on these. I should, with now how good they've made these, unless they change, they change it back, I should be able to get a full deck, females included, by the new tier. Um, this is all speculation on my behalf whether we'll get a new tier like a Goliath tier like we did last year Or it'll go straight to SummerSlam 19. I hope we do get a middle tier um, Because that's kind of what I'm working towards within the next three weeks to a month. I'm expecting a new tier um, They've done a lot of things in this tier to make me believe this is going to be a relatively short tier um, We've done our LMS. We've done the female event card um, They've released Hall of Fame you know, uh, no, that's literally the only one they haven't released. They've released Throwbacks and Fusions. Hall of Fame's coming out soon. So it does make me believe there is a new tier before SummerSlam 19. So I don't want to get a full deck by then. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I did ramble on there. But hopefully, um, yeah, I, I gave my uh, my opinions on pretty much everything that was new. Um, I'm not happy about, about the caps. Um, I'm pretty sure images as well, if I'm not mistaken, are reversed now. They are... It, it, it's a slight change, but it's just like we get used to something. Why change it so we're not used to it? And it's just in, it's just something that you don't need to change, to just to just to, you know, make us have to get used to it all over again. And it's just a bit annoying. Um, but apart from that, there really isn't anything major. Uh, apart from, apart from, oh yeah, uh, obviously King of the Ring's a bit broken. I've been seeing a lot of people complain on Twitter about this. King of the Ring is. Apparently very broken. I don't really pay attention to my King of the Rings. Um, I know it's not a good thing. I know I should pay attention. I just don't. Um, haven't been since the old King of the Ring. Old, old King of the Ring. Um, hopefully I will start paying attention more. But I haven't realised it being broken for me. Um, but yeah, it is in general just broken at the moment for people. So yeah. 
Um, ads as well, no ads, which is annoying. I know some people are getting ads on some devices and it's, again, it's not completely clear, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Do drop the video a like, comment, subscribe if you're new around it, and I will see you guys. Uh, oh God, what day is it today? It's Friday, so I'll upload this on Saturday, and I'll probably see all you guys on Tuesday or Wednesday for another video. Thanks guys, peace out, take care. In neons and a gothic from my ticket pack, that's not what you used to Oh no, Paul, I got from what is it? Run the ultimate. Oh my God, no. <laughs> I got water bottle. Yeah, don't, wait, pro then. <laughs> well, that's different. When you get a new card. Oh, that's different too. Interesting. There's a bunch of uh, of little changes. Let's get into some wild mode and uh, and get a pull. Oh, five, nice. Yeah, it's got a perfect game. Pull incoming. Come on. I know it's here somewhere. Please be like. Eo Shirai, like Tony Storm. Oh my god, here it is. Here's my pull. Female. It's a pro. It's the worst pro in the tier, but it's a pro. <laughs> I'll take it. Why not? It's a pro in it. Um, Chad Gable. Yeah. How many tickets am yeah, I proof. Like this? I just need to do like a couple more things can get a ticket pack. What else, have, what else have they changed? Oh, 35 fusions are in the game. Oh, I need to start that. Good, good, good call. Um, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Yeah, oh. daddy Billy Kay, daddy the other one in. Good. Lars Sullivan, Bray Wyatt, Tony Nese, <coughs> Mark Andrews and Jordan Bailey. I'll get my pill, who's it gonna be? I got Matt Reddo. <laughs> Matt Redo. Matt Redo. Pro or? That's a pro. Ooh, I just got a new a new card discovered. Carl Anderson from the what, Goliath Fusion. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Alright, let's start. Let's start a fusion. Thanks for watching guys. I'll be back um for some more for some more gameplay in a bit.